Joining me now, Jesse Weber, attorney and anchor for the Law and Crime Network. He's also a News Nation legal contributor. Misty Maris, trial attorney and legal analyst. And Arthur Idala, he is a trial attorney and radio host. All right, so let's start with this case. Arthur, this is, is this an alibi defense? I mean, it's actually an alibi defense. They have to legally, right, lay it out in the state of Idaho. But is this an alibi? Well, he's saying that he was elsewhere, that the phone was with him and he was elsewhere. So that's, yes, that is an alibi. Usually we're used to hearing a human being saying, oh, he was at my house, he was eating dinner. Here they're using technology, um, but, you know, his kid was studying a PhD. He's supposedly a really reasonably intelligent kid. It's a premeditated murder. I don't think he's going to take his phone with him to the homicide. But if it, if his phone's off, I, I don't yeah. even understand what the the claim is, right? I mean, is, is is the claim now going to be that prosecutors were wrong that his phone was off? I think so. I mean, look, let, let's be clear. We cover trials all the time. Cell phone evidence, it's not accurate. The cell phone towers, you can do all that. But if the phone is off at the key times when this murder allegedly happened, and prosecutors, I've seen the evidence, see, suggest that we can prove this killing happened after 4 a.m. I don't know where this goes. And, and I have to tell you, I, did anyone else find it a little weird that it's so bare bones? They had a lot of time to come forward with this alibi. And it's only a few pages. And they say, oh, well, we're going to give you more evidence. Once, once the prosecution gives us more. We'll give you more uh, witnesses who can say where Brian Koberger was. It felt right, a little bare bones. Misty, because, Misty, if, if, if they have an alibi based on cell phone of where he was except for the two-hour period when the murders occurred, it's not that powerful. No, I would say that's not an alibi right. then, right, during the critical time period. To Jesse's point, you were talking about uh, the, the submission. They say that the prosecutors are holding back exculpatory information. We don't know what that is. It would have to be turned over. But, Dan, this is not a surprise. I mean, the alibi, the looking at the sun, the moon, and the stars, yeah. that's a little weird. But <laughs> the fact that they're going to attack those cell phone records, the location data, we always knew this was going to be a battle of the experts type of case. Right. But challenging the prosecution's expert is different from bringing in your own saying he was totally somewhere different, <laughs> right? It's not saying you can't rely on this. It's saying that it's not just wrong. It's so wrong that we can prove he was somewhere well, else. It's the prosecutors who are saying in their search warrant affidavit that his phone was off. I don't believe the defense is, is admitting to right, that. Right, right. So they're going to say, no, 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 his phone wasn't off. Maybe you, you missed, misread the right. cell towers. But, that, I mean, that, look, I had a case, Dan, where, you know, very, very similar. My client is now doing 25 years in jail. But, you know, his phone was elsewhere. It was kind of weird because it was in one location and then it's elsewhere from the crime scene and then but, but, someone testified that he gave me the phone. I've seen difference of opinion about where the phone is or where it's tricked. I haven't never seen a difference of opinion of the phone is off or it's not off. I've never seen that before in a trial where you have one expert saying it was off and one expert saying it was on. I think that, at least that data is pretty clear. Unless you could say, well, he was in an area with no service right. or, That's or, what it, was, I was or it was in airplane mode. Right, right. I, maybe they could try to say right. that. Right. I, and I, we won't really know until we hear more from this well, expert. Well, Misty, how do you think they're going to challenge the DNA evidence in this case? I mean, are they going to say that it was unreliable? Are they going to say he was framed? I mean, what do you expect that they're going to say with regard to the DNA? Well, there'd be a couple different options, right? One could be that maybe he had, there was some sort of contact DNA that, that it got in there through another means, uh, through contact with somebody else. You know, we know that he was on the campus at some point. Unlikely. I think they're going to challenge it on the forensics. They're going to say it was trace DNA. You know, we were talking about mitochondrial DNA and challenge the actual science behind the match. And, and that's what I would expect to see. Yeah. I mean, I know that they've looked at the paperwork that they've been requesting for quite some time, how the FBI used this, because one of the things is it couldn't be we found his DNA and then we arrested him. There had to be a tool that was used. And if they could try to make the argument that it was used improperly to ultimately arrest him, that may be a way to get the evidence kept out of trial in the first place. I think that's a long shot, but that might be where See, Arthur, going. The problem that they have here, that the defense has, is it's not just a piece of evidence, right? It's the combination of all this stuff, right? They're matching up the car to the cell phone data. They actually have the car later the next day with him walking out of the same car. They have the DNA. Uh, they have the stuff that he was saying on the internet. That's the problem for this yeah, kind of case. So if we're going to be real, <clears throat> and this is my client, I'm going to sit down with him nice and calm, and I'm going to say, young man, um, you want to die or do you want to spend the rest of your life in prison? Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below 
to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.